Today's video is about a posture brace that one of you said that you used and you liked. So I bought it from Amazon. I tried it for 30 days. Sometimes I slept in it and I got a lot of information that I want to share with you. And I'm going to get into that right now. Welcome back, my name is Ashley Osier and I'm the Posture Specialist. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to improve your posture, decrease pain, and enhance your overall wellness, make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss anything. This is the Posture Brace. It is by G-E-A-R-A-R-I. Gerari? This posture brace, as you can see here, it has a kind of a soft fabric. If you saw my previous video, you would know that I'm a stickler about quality, the material, how it is made, and whether or not you can hear, you know, certain sounds. So you'd have to see that other video to know exactly what I'm talking about. And then what you do is to so take the strap, you put it through this D-ring, that's what these are called, and then you just Velcro it here. So you do that on both sides, and it Velcros up on top. And you bring it around, kind of like a holster. It comes around the shoulders. Make sure the back is flat. Okay. Okay. And you want that right down the back, the middle of your back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your straps down here. You're going to tighten it up and you pull these up here. Okay. To what's comfortable. And I'll give you guys some recommendations at the end of the video to get the most optimal use out of this, the most optimal results. I have really good posture to start with. So for me to notice anything in particular that would be beneficial is something to consider, right? And there were definitely things that I noticed and things that I liked about this. With this posture brace comes extensions. And what you'll do is you'll put the extension together after you put it through the D-ring and then you're going to loop this side here through the extension and pull that up here onto the main part of the posture brace. And that is for people who are just, you know, bigger in their structure. They have bigger shoulders, they have a bigger back. Before I get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and some suggestions on how to get optimal results from wearing this, I want to give you guys some cautions so that you're not injuring yourself, you're not creating more postural discrepancies or creating muscular imbalances from wearing something like this because I think that it could happen. So I want to give you some cautions and here they are. I don't recommend you wear this when you're sleeping unless you are under some kind of supervision from your PT, from your doctor, or from a posture specialist. And they recommend you sleeping in this, especially if you have a major curvature of your spine, if you're really extreme with your postural discrepancies, definitely do not sleep in this. The second caution is that I don't recommend you wearing this all day right out the bat. If you take this out of the bag and you put it on and you wear it all day, you're going to be sore. I was surprised with how sore I was 
after wearing it for so many hours the first day. I really did not think that it was going to make a big difference and that I would feel anything in particular, but I was very surprised. So much so after 30 days of wearing it, there were a number of things that I was surprised about and I will have another video on that because I think it's important to go over, but not in this video because you know, it's just something different and it'll take up more time. The next thing that I want to caution you guys with is that this is not going to fix your posture. This is not going to correct your forward head. It's not going to correct if you're collapsing here in the diaphragm, and it's not going to correct your disengaged core abdominal muscles. This is going to be a really good posture hook but it's not going to correct your postural discrepancies. It's not going to correct your posture dysfunction. Now, why? Because it's not exercising your muscles. I love the material. This is a very soft. I love the holes in it. Can you see the holes? Okay. It's breathable. It's soft. And I like the structure of this. Do you see how big the holes are here? I'm going to be talking about the structure and what to look for in a posture brace in another video, but I want to point out that I really like the space. See how big these holes are? This is good because we want to, how do I put this? We want to be going around the scapula and pulling the shoulder back, right? So we don't want to, we don't want anything that is going to be pushing the scapula forward or preventing the front of the shoulder from coming back. So we want this center, we want this part to be nice and narrow, which this is, and we want this space to be big so that the scapula can fit in here while this is pulling the shoulder back. Does that make sense? I'll go into more detail with all the different posture braces that I have tried and a couple of other ones that people have sent to me saying that they like and I've checked them out and they just did not pass my standard of excellence and comfort. But this one, this one has, I really like this one a lot. You guys, I like the comfort. It really was quite comfortable. I mean, you know, if you have postural discrepancies, it's going to be somewhat uncomfortable, but I think the material really made it comfortable for me. The edges on this are very soft. You know, it's not like, it's not like it's nylon. This is nylon right here, but this is not, this is really nice, soft material. There are some posture braces like the ones that I reviewed in my previous posture brace video that are just bulky. You know, you don't, for me, I don't want something that's bulky. So I like the fact that this is simple. It's not bulky. It's comfortable. The other thing that I really like is the ease of adjustment. You throw it on and you adjust it. Bam, it's on, it's done and you go on with your day. It's just so easy. I do not like these D-rings. <laughs> so when you have it on, these D-rings, they don't move. So if I'm moving my shoulder, this material right here, this nylon material gets all bunched up down here. 
and that is going to by design that's going to pull down here you can't really tell right now but if i'm pulling on this now mind you i have really good posture but somebody who has major postural discrepancies they're going to be pulling on this and i already see a little bit of fraying where the stitching is okay i don't know if you can see that so the d-ring kind of puts it at a disadvantage but the price you guys i mean it's crazy great price for this posture brace so the other thing that i did not like about this is this nylon thing it is just too flimsy I do I, I like the ease of it I do like the ease of it but you see it just kind of do you see how kind of flimsy that is and so I don't know I would try to go with either a different material or if there was a way to have like a little ring right here of material that held it together then I think that would be a little bit better so I just don't like I just don't I don't like that one of the things that I noticed about this material and the fact that it's not close together is that it will move instead of feeling this nice soft material I end up feeling the nylon and I do not wear this on my skin. I wear it over my shirts. So um, I can still feel it though. So that is one, one thing that makes it a little uncomfortable, but it's not bad enough where I would not wear it, right? I totally wore this. I really liked it a lot. The other thing that I don't like, this Velcro. It's not good. It's not gonna last. Do you see how this is coming up here? And I try to push it down and it's still coming up. And if I do this, so if I move, you know, you see how that Velcro just kind of comes up. Okay. So, for the price, it's a phenomenal posture brace. You just can't go wrong with this. You really can't. Great posture hook. Great for helping you guys to um, take a break from having to engage your muscles to pull those shoulders back. Let's get into my suggestions for optimal results. recommendation is if you're going to wear a posture brace please make sure that you are practicing your three lock mountain so that you are continuing to balance the engagement of muscles to the stretching of the muscles that are tight okay and how you're supporting your structure to make those micro changes those micro corrections and adaptations so to get the optimal results out of this if you're engaging your three lock mountain 24 seven, and then you wear this, it is going to maximize the actual work that you're doing for the three lock mountain. You're still going to have to engage the pubic lock, the diaphragm lock and the throat lock. If you want to make corrections on your forward head, you're collapsing here at the diaphragm and your disengagement of your core muscles. What I recommend in putting it on is to attach it at the bottom part of it so it's super loose and open. So when you're wearing this, try it out for 15 minutes your first day and slowly build up. They usually recommend that you wear it for 15 minutes and then build up anyway. So I would go along with that. I think that that's reasonable. I think that for most people, you know, you really want to slowly 
get yourself into this posture brace for an entire day. You definitely want to be using this in situations where your posture is challenged. So if you're at work at a desk and you're sitting all day, you're a truck driver or you're you're a limousine driver, somebody who's just driving all day, all the time. If you're a mom and you have kids and you're constantly kind of bending down, bending forward, a mother that is breastfeeding, this is gonna be something that would be really, really helpful to make sure that you're not kind of rounding those shoulders forward. I recommend that you replace this as soon as you start seeing the threads fraying, if the D-ring is pulling, if the Velcro isn't holding, time to replace it. And, you know, honestly, because it's so inexpensive, if you have to replace this, you know, every six months, that's not a bad deal. I would recommend that you have one of these at home and you have one of these at the office. This is something that you can just stash away at the office. I would even say if you're a student, you could put one of these in your backpack. So this is something that can be worn, you know, by everybody of all ages. This recommendation is really important. When you're wearing this for an extended period of time, you are loosening up certain muscles, okay? So you're loosening up the pack muscle and at the same time, you're not using your back muscles, okay? So you're not using your rhomboids, you're not working your traps, you're not using your back muscles, your lats, nothing, okay? So they're disengaged in the back for the most part, especially if you're not practicing your three-lock mountain. So you're loosening up certain muscles and you could, as a consequence, make some changes that you're so unaware of that it would put you in a position to then throw yourself out of alignment down the road. So I want you to be thoughtful about wearing the posture brace. A lot of you are not connected to your body, are not conscious of how your body is, your postural discrepancies. A lot of you do not work with a posture specialist. So you don't have the awareness of postural discrepancies that you would if you were working with a posture specialist. One of my clients has a posture brace and she says that it helps her not only to remember as a posture hook to be in good posture, but what it does is it gives her a break from all the exercise that it takes for her to actually be in good posture. So remember, we are exercising the muscles to control the structure, to make those micro corrections that are going to build up to those micro adaptations and then those changes, okay? So wearing this, not to correct your posture, but as a posture hook, and to give your muscles a break from having to be in good posture because it takes work, right? It's 24 seven, you're exercising your muscles to counter and to correct your postural discrepancies. Make sure to follow me on my social media platforms I have everything listed in the description box below, and I also have some icons that you can click on up here on my main YouTube channel page. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, happy posturing.